everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here. Today I have another unboxing for you. This one is very special. This one is from Diamond Art Club. And I am going to have to separate this video into two parts, I think, <laughs> because there are just too many in the box. So that's a good thing uh, for you guys. But uh, I, oh. I hope you enjoy it. Let's open up the box and see. Now, I don't know if you know this, but if you are not in the United States, if you spend over $150 on their website after discounts, you can get free shipping. Now, I didn't do this the last time I ordered, but I kind of wish I had just saved up and did it all together because I went ahead and put things in my cart strategically use the discount code and then I, and with the rewards and everything, uh, and basically I spent $150 and two cent <laughs> and I got free shipping. Woohoo! <laughs> so let's look inside and see. There should be six paintings in here. Yes, yeah, six. I know, I know, I'm crazy. All right, um, I wanna keep them a surprise. Yes, I'm wearing my shirt that I got from Distracted by Diamonds, Robin with a Y. <gasps> Look at the teeny itty bitty kid. Oh my god. That is so little. This is officially my smallest diamond art club. <laughs> it's so cute. All right, I'm just going to randomly choose them because otherwise, well, should I? I don't know. No, a lot of these are clearance because, put the box out the way, oh my god, I have so much cardboard in my house, y'all. I'm actually doing something really creative with it right now because there is so much. Um, most of these are clearanced or discontinued or something special, so, da -na 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 -na. I don't know which ones to do first. I know this is a little overkill, but trust me, when you aren't living in the US and you want to buy Diamond Art Club, I highly recommend doing it this way because otherwise the shipping is quite expensive. And I have heard, if you're not a part of the group, by the way, Facebook group, Crafters Anonymous with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray, the link is down in the description box of this video. You can join. Just make sure that you agree to the rules and answer the two questions. You're in. You're good. We know you're not a robot. But, um, why I'm saying that is because somebody in the group said that they thought that Diamond Art Club was prohibitive and this kind of thing. I assure you that if you use your discounts and you kind of jiggle things just so, you can get quite a good deal. I thought this was a good deal. You might disagree with me. It's okay. We can agree to disagree. So let me do, you know what I might do? I might do three paintings today and three the next day. So... I'm going to do these three, I think. Let me just double check. Because there's one, no. This one I want to get out of the way. I want to do this one today, for sure. Okay, we're going to do those three. Okay, I'll put you guys away. Whoops. All right, now they're sitting precariously over there. Let's do this one, the big one first, because you guys have seen it a million bajillion times. I'm gonna go ahead and take the, the plastic off of these and I'll be right back, one sec. Okay, we're back, uh, like movie magic. <laughs> um, so each one comes shrink wrapped. If you've never gotten a Diamond Art Club, I'm just gonna pretend like somebody watching here probably hasn't had one and I'll just do the first one as a full review so you know. So Diamond Art Club comes in a really nice sturdy box that's within another box, always. It never comes shipped in this box, okay? Not like AliExpress where they send it in a box but it's wrapped in trash bag material. Yeah, no. Uh, Diamond Art Club, they put the nine steps to diamond painting on the back in case you're brand new. Oh, and the box is hollow. And then it's got the diamond painting here at the bottom. So as you can see, this is Glowing Christmas. This is a limited edition kit. It is round with AB. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a 61 by 51 centimeter or 24 by 20 inch. They have started to 
put out paintings that are an easily frameable size. For some of us, that's kind of sad because I like irregularly, ir uh -huh, I can talk, irregularly shaped diamond paintings, but not everybody does. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, in, in the box comes the canvas with an instruction manual, the diamonds, a toolkit, and then a sticker. My sticker got all... No, oh, it got crunched. That's okay. Um, it comes with a sticker that has the picture of the diamond painting. So this is the original picture. It's beautiful, isn't it? I like the tinsel. Um, and then it has all the symbols and the DMC numbers that you will have in your diamond painting. So this one's special because it has actual special gems to it that are a different shape than the normal diamonds. Now I know this is a little unfair to show this now because this is out of stock and it was limited edition so I don't think they'll be bringing it back but I, you never know, they could. Um, so anyway, this is a sticker. You can choose to cut this up and see how it's sticky. Uh, you can cut this and put them onto your storage containers while you're doing the diamond painting. That's what I do. It's really nice. So that's that. Then you have the toolkit. The toolkit comes with, I'm going to do this once guys, just once, because there are a lot of new people watching. So it's only fair. There are a few Ziploc baggies included. There's a blue pe drill pen <laughs> with a three placer. Yep. Just drop it all. A squishy that you can put on the pen, two plates of heart-shaped wax, which I find very good. Like this stuff lasts forever, never goes dry. A clear boat, love these things. You can kind of like see if there's anything irregular with them, which there usually isn't. Uh, and that is your toolkit. That is the Diamond Art Club toolkit. If you get a, a square painting, then you get tweezers too, which is a great touch. I don't use tweezers very often, but they are great for moving drills you didn't mean to place. So there's a toolkit. Diamonds really nicely wrapped in here and such gorgeous colors in this painting. Really, really nice. And then let's get to the canvas because this is what we really want to look at. Um, hmm. There we go. Now, Diamond Art Club canvases are soft. They have a velveteen tarpaulin canvas, which is patent pending. Inside here, oh my gosh, is, ooh, a new instruction booklet. I've never gotten this one before. Let me have a look. Thank you. A note from Angie, some tips and tricks. It says to use the checkerboard method. I also think that that's really good. Oh, look, there's a 10% off coupon code. So if you've never gotten Diamond Art Club and you'd like to try it, you could use that 10% off coupon code. I don't mind. <laughs> and, uh, and try it out for yourself. Now, that's the instructions done. Let's look at the canvas. Now, as you know, it's very soft. If you've seen Diamond Art Club before, I like soft canvases. Uh, they're they're really nice to work with. Now, this one seems to be a little bit stiffer than the others, but it's probably because it's been in a box and it's been out in the cold. And what I'm doing is I'm rolling it the opposite way so that it lies flat really quickly. Come on. There we go. All right. Now, what that does sometimes is it puts air pockets under the, see that? Puts air pockets into the plastic, but it's okay, it won't, it won't hurt anything. I have been working on Diamond Art Clips since last year. <laughs> Never had a problem. Ta-da, look how beautiful it is. Oh, that's precious. Wow. And that's where the special gems go. There's also one more thing that's really special about this canvas, and it's that it glows in the dark. So anywhere that you see this yellow color, even the, the star up above and a few of the stars inside, 
those are all glow in the darks. So it's going to look really neat late at night. I'm just really looking forward to see what happens to this canvas. Now, if you have glow in the dark drills left over from some other canvases that you may have from Diamond Art Club, like Chakra Lotus or maybe Halloween time, or even if you have some from Diamond Painting Sparklers, yeah, Diamond Painting Sparklers with Tima, uh, you could probably fill them in. Or if you've ordered some from somewhere else, you know, I'm not judging, but um, it would be really cool to see a lot more light up on this painting. So I think the, the possibilities are pretty much endless with this. So you've got the sky, trees in the background. We've got two schematics or inventory lists. So it is quite a big painting. So if you were working on an easel, let's say, and you were only working on half at a time, you'll be able to read the legend using both sides. If you only use DMC numbers for your storage. So really, really helpful. There's also on the bottom, they brand all their canvases, obviously, because it is a big brand, let's face it. They have social media accounts, facebook.com slash Diamond Art Club and Instagram at Diamond Art Club. If you, if you tag them, hashtag Diamond Art Club, you, your work could be featured on their social media page, which is really fun. And they do recommend big diamond paintings because the small ones are not as detailed. Comes with a lifetime warranty. If you're a fan of Diamond Art Club, you already know all this. And I know that this image has been shown in several diamond painting <laughs> YouTube uh, channels, so I won't bore you too much with all the details, but it is super duper clear as always. Very clear canvas. Never had an issue with, oops, with the clarity of their, I've never had an issue with the clarity of their canvases. It's always really beautiful. So there are, there's one AB, which is 141, which is on the canvas is number one. So all throughout the tinsel on this diamond painting is white AB. The number four is the special gem. And then the little plus sign is glow in the dark. Really nice, really pretty. All right, let's look at these drills. If you don't like crinkling plastic, Perhaps don't watch unboxing videos. I'm just joking. Okay, you could still watch unboxing videos, but I mean, it kind of comes with the <laughs> comes with the territory. I'm tired of saying it at this stage. So we've got a lot of diamonds here. Here are the special ones. Look how pretty. They are beautiful. You can see my face. Did you see? I just stuck my tongue out at you. <laughs> All right. We got a really thick strip here of 939s and 823s. Then I'll go from biggest to large to smallest. So 310s, three bags of 310. 775, lots of blue, green, that's that beautiful evergreen shade, which, why isn't it showing up? Let's say no. There we go. Oh, that's way better. Okay, look, we'll go backwards. Yeah, light blue, medium blue, dark blue, sky blue. Oh, that's actually a really beautiful blue. I got lost in it. <laughs> 310. Gorgeous 310s. That's that strip. Is this the last strip? The last strip. All right. Very pretty. So if you like blue, this is definitely the one for you. And if you're wondering why are the numbers all in different order, it's by quantity, by weight, not by DMC number. Fine, because at least it's all in the one bag. Ooh, there's ABs. Have you ever seen an AB? They're very pretty. They're like 
I don't know, it just puts an extra sparkle on it. It's so gorgeous. And of course it's not gonna come out in camera, but it looks pink and blue and purple on my screen. Or not on my screen, in my eyeballs. This one is the glow in the dark drills, which I'm gonna have to test this out. Cause right now it just looks orange, but I know better. Do they have a different shape? They do, they have a different shape. Their facets are different. It has a flat top. Cool, it's gonna look awesome. Green, blue, six, six, six. All the different greens and the reds. Pretty, ooh, stay here. Very pretty. And as you noticed, there are no oily drills, broken bags. Really happy about that. So that is Glowing Christmas, the special, very special diamond painting from Diamond Art Club, which is, again, it is a 24 by 20 inch. So this can be framed very easily. And now I'm going to move on to the next one. I forgot to show you all the sticky. So let me just show you. This is the glue on the canvas. It is poured glue, if you didn't know already. The canvas is also really sparkly. I don't know if you can tell that. That's not just shine, that's actual glitter. And then the glue itself is super, super sticky. It feels like jelly. And sometimes people find that it's different to work with when you're used to dealing with double-sided tape. The thing about this kind of glue is that the drills can slide very easily. What you could do is just cure the area by leaving it exposed for as long as you can, as long as you can handle it, um, and just let the air get to it a little bit so that it breathes. And while you're diamond painting, it'll cure as well. And that'll make it a lot easier for the drills to not move around so much. Also, you might notice, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this on camera. Do you see the kind of, no, no, it's because my light is on. Do you see the areas that look dull? They look like there's a river or that the glue is wrong or something. And you see those little rivers in the, in the plastic. They're not actual rivers. Everything is okay. Don't freak out. So if you're new to Diamond Art Club, don't freak out, it's fine. Trust me, <laughs> trust me, I've bought so many of them, I can 100% recommend them. So that is Glowing Christmas. Putting everything back in the box the way that it was, except for the toolkit. I don't bother putting the toolkits back. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna do it a little bit. Oh my gosh, why am I such a klutz? Okay. Here we go. I don't know what my neighbor is doing. Mm. All right, hold on. I apologize, everybody. My neighbors are doing the mostest right now. I just wanted to show you how I'm packing the box. So this is how I put my Diamond Art Clubs back. In fact, I need to do that with the rest of my Diamond Art Club because I have a lot of diamond painting drills that are in my storage, you know? Um, I store them in under the bed totes, but there's no need because I keep the canvases rolled up in their boxes. So what I need to do is just take a day and do with that. So I just put the sticker there at the top so it doesn't get squished again and put the lid back on. And there we go. It's ready to go until I'm ready to actually do the kit. So let's go to the next one. I'm not going to show toolkits or anything. Uh, because we've already done it, but I'm gonna do the little one. <laughs> so, are you ready? Which one do you think I got? I got the Rainbow Tiger. This one is so pretty, and I've actually never gotten this artist before. I think her name is Patrice, and she's so pretty. She did the, she, she's pretty. All her painting are pretty. I'm sure she's pretty too, um, but I, I've never done one of hers before, and I know that this one is super duper small, but I just couldn't resist. It was like 
Oh, it's a square. So this is a 22 by 22. And see what I mean? There's a tweezers in there. So look at this itty bitty canvas. This is back when they were doing the opaque bags, which I don't really, I don't keep the bags, so I don't really mind what it comes in. Now this one doesn't have any ABs or special drills or anything. It's just, yeah. And I, I believe I paid $9.99 in the clearance section for this little diamond painting. Now that might sound steep considering it's a 22 by 22, but I, I just like the quality of the Diamond Art Club canvases and I like working them up. And I thought this could be a really nice snack painting. And it looks like there's plenty of detail as well. Now it is rolled really, really tight on itself. There's the old flyer. This is our online store. I like their new flyer because it's not going to get all curled up and just thrown in the trash. <laughs> but that's the one thing about watching these diamond painting companies grow and change is seeing how they innovate and how they listen to the feedback of their customers, which is one of the main reasons that I like Diamond Art Club. There we go. Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. Can you see? That's adorable. Now it is really pixelated, but I'm okay with that. Like I bought it and I knew it would be pixelated, but it has 30 colors. It's a lot of confetti, but it's still really beautiful. The quality is still there. You still have the same really nice canvas with the poured glue, super sticky. It's got the schematic, the picture, all this stuff, but they have changed a few things since this canvas was released. And I think that might be part of the reason why it's on sale, or it could be just because it's really, really small. So if you like this image, I would highly recommend just checking out their clearance section. I can't guarantee that it'll be there by the time you check it out, but it is really cute and I like it a lot. So that's the image. Let's look at the toolkit. Do you see this? That's from a little while ago, earlier this summer anyway. So just having a quick look at the drills. Oops. There's a few loose ones there. Now, my neighbors are doing the mostest with the tractor at the minute. I'm pretty sure that they're doing some like last minute autumn stuff with their yard. So that's what the noise is. I was going to wait and then I was like, I'm losing daylight. I really need to film. And it's only like four o'clock. So I hope you don't mind. I apologize for the noise. So that's them colors. Then we have these colors. These are from much earlier, actually, where they used to put the DMC number and then the quantity. So there should be 500 in each of these bags. Maybe they were looking to get rid of them <laughs> and they stuck them in this kit. And this is all the rainbow. The squares in this kit look fantastic, by the way. I don't see any issues with these drills at all. So yeah, snag it quick. <laughs> Beautiful. This would be the perfect little kit for a beginner as well. So if you have anybody in your family who you want to, um, well, I was, <laughs> I was going to say, um, get them, get them interested in diamond painting. But actually the truth is if you want to get your family or friends addicted to diamond painting, get them this kit. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Um, so that is Rainbow Rainbow Tiger by, I want to say Patricia something. I'm so sorry I forgot her name, but she has this beautiful pop art that's always full of rainbow colors, so go check her out. I will have her linked down in the description anyway, so go check it out. I'll be right back. Okay, so that was the Rainbow Tiger. Now we're on to the last diamond painting of this unboxing, which... I got on clearance and when I saw the size of it and the price of it, I just could not resist. I don't need this right away, but I can think of several different places where a diamond painting like this would be really, really awesome, either in your house or in a local business 
or anything like that. So if you're the kind of person that likes to give diamond paintings as gifts, you just like the therapeutic aspect of making a diamond painting, but you don't necessarily want to go and put it on your wall, I would highly recommend Coffee Morning or Morning Coffee. Isn't it cute? Love this picture. So I can think of several places in my town where this would look really cute. I don't have an ETA on it, but it's a 42 by 42. So actually it's quite big. I think the first time that I saw this diamond painting, it was maybe, I wanna say a 30 by 30 or something. If I'm remembering correctly, I could be rem misremembering it. I do that all the time. I hope you can forgive me on that. But uh, this is a great size. And I think it was only, well, I could look at my order form, but I won't. It was, it was cheap. Square toolkit, wonderful. We've got, again, the drills packaged up nice and neat, and then the canvas rolled in this dust bag. So let's have a look. Uh-oh. I'm gonna cut it. I know some of, some of you like to re-roll them into these bags, but I'm not one of them. Okay, let's unroll. I just had a thought, maybe I should put, um, <laughs> put some kind of like relaxing music on in the background. They're not too loud, but just, just loud enough to cover the sounds of that tractor because <laughs> that's annoying to me and I'm not watching the video so I'm sorry y'all that's what living in the country is like right so it is rolled really really tight I don't like that again I'm glad that we don't have it like that anymore for any new kids it's nice to see those improvements all right so the next thing for Diamond Art Club, if I could make it a suggestion, is at checkout, could it be an option to not have a toolkit sent? Because I would like that. I, w I think that's that would be really nice. <laughs> I know you all have, you know, a big manufacturing kind of thing, but like, yeah, if we don't need them. I mean, I've got I've got so many of them. I don't I don't need them anymore. So just a thought. Just a thought. OK. Oh, okay. I can see why they would want to put this in clearance. It's not the clearest that it could be. So let me show you the picture. So see the beans and the meringues? Do you see how it charted here? Yeah, it looks a bit fuzzy. And the beans, I can see the detail in the beans. That's really nice. But I think maybe it's because it only has 25 colors. I'm not sure. But yeah, I can see it's it's quite blocky. Um, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the first, what's it called? Um, the one with Ariel, the Manny Manzano, that it, was, it looked a bit blocky um, and it didn't represent Diamond Art Club uh, as a company, so they recharted it. Could you rechart this Diamond Art Club? Because I really like this image, but maybe it's also because of the framing and all of that, you know, the changes to all that. So, but I think it's cute. I think it's really cute. And as always, you know, the it's always really clear to read the symbols. It's all the same kind of other stuff. You've got the legend on both ends and everything. It's still got the nice sticky, I'm sure. Yeah, still very sticky. And same soft canvas, but for whatever reason, it just looks quite blocky and one-dimensional where this kind of looks like it says cool. <laughs> I know it's supposed to say good. That's all right. That's okay. It's not exactly my favorite, but I'd still do it just to see how it turns out, you know? But with the meringues and stuff, maybe it's a matter of increasing the number of colors or, which I think fixes everything, or increasing the size, or both. <laughs> so that's coffee morning. Let's look at the drills.
Now, I don't think, whoops, I don't think that this has ABs. No, there's no ABs in this kit either. So, the diamonds though, the diamonds are really, really nice. Okay, there's one bad one. <laughs> no, they're all flat. So even the clearance section still has really nice quality drills. Look at them. You can see them for yourself, right? I know the the light is looking brighter and brighter on the drills. I apologize. The sun is leaving us. Well, there was no sun today, in fairness, but... All these kind of taupey, mauvey, brown, and really muted colors. But that's what you expect in a coffee diamond painting, right? But I am I am surprised at the bright oranges and stuff. Like this is that really bright pumpkin orange. So <laughs> even that can be surprising. So guys, that is the Diamond Art Club. Sorry. So that's the Diamond Art Club unboxing for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this video, you know what to do. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.